What is going on, RT family? We're here in my garage. About to do an oil change to the 2021 TTR 110. Um, it has five hours as of today. We don't ride it that hard, but I've been looking around asking people that own TTRs, 110s, and they suggest you do it every five hours. My guess is it depends how hard you ride the bike. If you're racing the bike or you're an adult riding the bike, you know, 200 pounds, 180 pounds, you're pushing the bike. So I would do your own research, but in my case, the little girl rides this bike and I'm still doing it every five hours just to be on the safe side. Um, so like I said, I suggest you do your own research, but right now we're about to do the oil change. Might clean the air filter because it's been pretty dusty when we go out riding. So we'll get into that right now. a tusk hour meter and uh, I'm not sure if you can see the hours so it's 6.5 instead of 5 so right now you usually get it usually has around seven hours actually I put this hour meter I don't know a month into owning it the cool thing about this tusk hour meter is that it reads the rpms and you can set it up for it to remind you when to clean the oil and other maintenance um, I set it up for five hours. So let me see if I'm gonna turn it on and see if it shows clean oil. <laughs> got these hand guards the wraparound ones in Amazon I think they were like $30 they're pretty freaking good for the money um, it was a little it's a pain in the butt to get in there but they set up pretty nice for the $30 I mean it's not the best fitment but if you tweak it a little bit you can get it set up nice and tight um, I can leave the link in the bio description below and see uh, if you guys want to pick those up. 30 bucks, not bad. All right, so we're gonna tighten up the drain bolt so we can start putting some oil. Don't wanna tighten it too much, but just hand tight. Got this on Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Uh, I forgot how much I paid for this, but this is great. It's a little bigger. Um, better quality than the stock one. So I suggest if you guys are looking for one, hit up Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Now, so what we're gonna do is, it takes 28 fluid ounces. So obviously it's more than 28, it's a quart. So what we're gonna do is put in until four fluid ounces and that will give us 28. You can see that but leave it at four and then we use the remaining oil for the next oil change take this out uh, i've been seeing on the uh forums people sometimes the cap stays up apparently 
where some people can't screw it all the way in. I'm not sure why, but I don't have that problem. What I'm trying to say is people screw it in and it won't screw in, like it, it stops right there. Like right here. Some people have that problem. I'm not sure why, but I don't have that problem. It just screws all the way in. So now that it's in, let's try, try to turn it on. change on this bike i was gonna do the air filter but i decided that i want to get an aftermarket one so i order one and slap it on it goes right here this air box um give me any suggestions what you guys think i should get um, again this is not a racing bike or anything like that it's just to go on regular trails put around but if you guys have any suggestions on what i should get for an air filter or a different air box. I know I've seen a few of them online. Um, I would just like um, you guys' suggestions. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave them down below in the comments. We will be dropping videos for about a month straight every Wednesday from now on. So for about a month or so, probably a little more, we'll have videos every Wednesday. So stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel, like what you see, and leave us a comment below. You know, we do this for you guys. It's fun. Tony, if you see Tony on the other videos on the motocross tracks, he's with the KTM 300 2020 KTM 300. He's doing J-Day races. I'm not doing J-Day races as of now. The recent videos you see when we're on the trails, it's with me, Ray. So I'm Ray and he's Tony. So J-Day is Tony, Ray is the trails for now. Um, we're trying to set something up together so we can go to a motocross track and, and practice with him and Mike. I've been riding with Ed Ives on his track and doing some gnarly stuff like you guys seen before. Um, so stick around if you like this stuff. We'll be putting out stuff every week. That's what we try to do. So stick around and um, subscribe. Thank you.